Uh, hi, and welcome to uh, part four of this uh, video series on the PolyEd tool in modeling mode in UE 5.1. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go through the inset and outset tools. So these tools are sort of complementary, and basically what they do is uh, similar to extrude, you know, extrude goes up, so inset goes in. So basically, you, it's kind of a little bit hard to see what's happening. The outline is, uh, you know, the rendering is not great, but essentially it's moving, it's sort of shrinking your selection inwards um, and making a new face in the middle. Um, and outset goes the other way. Sorry, outset, not offset basically goes out. So you tend to get a lot of Z fighting when you do this because you're making some overlapping faces, but if you then move the selection, you can see, or if you extrude it, um, you'll see that you've made sort of topology like growing that face. Um, they work with multiple selection like this, so I keep hitting the wrong thing. Inset here, will inset those combined faces uh, and make two new faces like that. It won't inset each face individually. Um, you know, we can do that multiple times and make sort of nested faces and things like that. Uh, it'll also work on loops. So this is over here. I've got a sort of box with more faces. I can even do stuff like select uh, a loop of faces, inset, um, of course, in the corner here, it made a kind of funny shaped face because of the topology, but that's sort of inherent. And so just with sort of insets and <clears throat> extrudes and, and things like that, insets and outsets, you can make uh, sort of these um, more complex face topologies. I guess here I kind of shrunk the face. Uh, this, the sizing is based on one of the selections. You see that there's a little line there. That's showing me the distance from the boundary that I'm insetting. Um, okay, so that's the basic inset and outset uh, on kind of low poly models. It also works on higher poly stuff. So I'm going to just make a sphere here because there's some options that only apply when you've got interior vertices. So right, the sphere, uh, we've got these complex poly groups. So here I can also inset, and you see it's it's moving all the vertices, so it is causing some foldovers if I go too far. Um, and that is the softness parameter. If I set that to 0.5, you see the foldover doesn't occur as quickly. Um, and I can really turn that up, and it'll uh, basically kind of smoothly deform the entire inside. Um, reproject. When it reproject is on, it projects back to the input sphere. So you see, even when I inset really far, it stays on the surface. You can turn that off, and then you'll see that it kind of is going to grow um, off the off the sphere. It's a little you got to find the good direction to do it from. Um, generally, I leave reproject on there, uh, and then there's some advanced options. So if you only wanted to do the boundary vertices. Um, you can turn on boundary only, and then it won't inset that interior. Um, and when you're insetting the interior there, you can change this area scale to sort of nudge it a little bit. It's quite hard, but you can see here that inside, further in vertices are squishing more. And we put that back out, it squishes more around the outside. Um, so that's the inset operation that can be useful. Right, so now you see it made that inset face there. Um, you know, which then I can extrude and stuff like that. So that can be useful when you're trying to do poly modeling on sort of higher res meshes where you've constructed a group topology for curved faces. Um, and outset works a similar way. It's uh, not as reliable at guessing kind of what direction to move, um, but it does let you sort of make those uh, curved outsets. Uh, okay, so that's inset and outset.